there's another man lived. Another man lived here eh, quite some time ago. Um, his name was Ronald MacDonald. And he was known as Ronald, Ronald of Cross. Now Ronald of Cross lived about 1670, 1680, in that era. And Ronald of Cross, he was another son of one of the chiefs. And he had, he had two tremendous um, uh, capabilities. One was his strength, he was abnormally strong. The other was his ability to teach piping and to compose pipe tunes. And in one of the times in his teaching piping, there was a man, Donald McQuarrie, from Egg. And Donald McQuarrie was my great-great, great-great grandfather's father. Donald McQuarrie, when he was 14, was such a brilliant piper, taught by Ronald, that he was sent away to the most famous, the most famous college of piping in Scotland at the time was the McCrimmins over in the sky. And when he arrived there, old man McCrimmon, who was supposed to be the best piper, it was the best college in the world, says, play me a tune. So he picked up the pipes and one of the most difficult tunes that any piper can try to master is called the finger lock. He picked up the pipes, he was 14 years of old, he played the finger lock. McCrimmon banned him from the college. He says, go back and see Ronald Bothmora, he says, and ask him why he's trying to make a fool of me by sending a piper to the class here. Ronald of Cross was the Bailey in Cana at the time. And Cana eh, belonged to belonged to Donald of the Cuckoo. Donald of Huan, and he was a, he was a thirteenth chief of the Clan Ronalds of Mora. And he had a gun which he called the Cuckoo because of the noise it made every time he killed somebody. And he was quite good at killing people with Donald forcing his will. And Donald, um, when he was when he was young in his career, um, and falling out with all his neighbours and falling out with everybody else in the country, he started developing the black arts. And it was believed by all and sundry, I wasn't there, that he had sold his soul to the devil. And one thing that made them wonder about this was that he had a, a, a beast called um, the Makan. The Makan. And the Makan is a toad. And this toad used to follow him over land and over sea, follow him and haunt him. And the first time that he ever saw the toad, he was hiding in a cave on a stormy night in Loch Nanua. And the toad came to visit him because he was getting very close to satanic works. And the toad came to visit him. No matter what he tried to do, he couldn't get rid of the toad. If he went away in this, if he went away in this boat and he wouldn't take a toad with him off the shore, the toad would be in Loch Boystel before him and meet his boat in Loch Boystel. This kind of thing went on for years. He was down in Castle Churum one day, and he saw somebody skulking about the shore. Maybe gathering wilks, I don't know. I don't know if they gather wilks in these days, but maybe he was. <laughs> Donald didn't like him, didn't even know who he was. And he was up in the back when it was a 
of the castle. And with the cuckoo, he went, bam, knocked his block off. And somebody said to him, that's an awful thing to do, Donald. He wasn't doing you any harm. Well, if he wasn't there stealing my property, he's fine. If he was there stealing my property, he should have been shot. And I just did it. <laughs> Everybody reaches old age, and Donald reached old age. And he was coming to the end of his life. And he decided that he would die in Cana. So he went to Cana. And in the last few days of his life, he was sinking lower and sinking lower. And he knew his death was coming. And on this last evening, he heard a whistle. He heard a whistle out in the dark. And people looked out. And who was outside? But Satan, in typical garb. Tall, black, pointed ears, long nose. And he was whistling. <laughs> whistling. And every time he whistled, Donald tried to get up out of his bed. And Ronald of Cross had to keep him there. And the Satan fellow, he whistled and he whistled and Donald kept battering to get out and battering to get out. And Donald, Donald eventually knew his last moment was coming. Okay. Just and he took one leap from the bed and he got as far as the door and Ronald caught him and caught him and held him and held him and the cock crew at three o'clock in the morning the cock goes Coo -hoo -hoo! you know the way they do Coo -hoo -hoo! Donald sank at the door still in Ronald's arms the man out on the hill gave a stamp and a last whistle and he took one step that took him from Cana onto Breachnach which is in the middle of Rome, over there. That was Donald the Cuckoo. Remember? <laughs>